Hey guys, my name is Noah. Welcome back to my channel. But if you guys are new here, then hey, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys potting up some of my propagations. I'm actually super proud of myself because usually I am so impatient and pot them up way sooner, but I've actually let the roots get pretty long, so I'm very happy with that. So I'm really proud of myself. And after these are potted up and about a month or two passes, I will post them for sale on my Etsy plant shop. And if you guys don't know, I do sell and share my plants with you guys on Etsy. My shop is called The Plant Casa, so definitely make sure you check that out. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started so first things first I'm gonna repot or I'm gonna pot up my begonia maculata the leaves actually look really really good so I'm very very happy with how they look and the roots are amazing you guys are gonna die hold on oh my god the roots are so good look at that So needless to say, this is definitely ready to be potted up so I'm going to pot them up into four inch pots and yeah, I could even do a smaller pot to be honest because I definitely want this plant to focus on giving new leaves, which Begonia maculatas grow so fast anyway, so it's not really an issue. I have my soil here. So let me just fill up the pot a little bit. Potting up these plants is really pretty simple. The only major thing is with the Begonia maculatas is they really only want to be watered with filtered water. They really are not going to be happy if you give them tap water. So that's the main thing I noticed with this plant. And of course, when you are potting up your plant, just make sure you hold it in place where you want it to be and put the soil around it and press it in so that it stays where you want it to be. I'm not going to add soil to the top of this pot just because this is kind of a big pot for such a small plant. Not that it's a small plant, but it definitely needs to focus on producing more leaves and not necessarily more roots right now. The root system is really good. So just potting this up. So simple. I don't know. I'll be posting this in real time, but that literally probably took 20 seconds. And then I just have some filtered water in this little French press. Um, and I put in some mosquito bits and you can see those floating around in there. That's just to prevent fungus gnats from forming in the soil. So I've pretty much been watering everything with this, with mosquito bits, I'd say. I'm trying to get control my fungus gnat problem in my home right now. So that's why I'm doing that. I like to give it a pretty good drink once it's first potted up because the plant is so used to being in water that it will go into shock if you don't water it thoroughly. So I'm definitely gonna make sure to water this one and always keep this one moist because Begonia maculatas do not like to dry out. That's one thing about them. This leaf is damaged because of the way it was sitting on my propagation shelf, it got wet. So nothing I can do about that. Also, the edges of um, the Begonia maculata leaves always crisp up. Not always, but sometimes. And I just rip it off and that kind of stops the problem. Sometimes I cut it to give it like a clean line, but you know. So yeah, there's that. Pot it up. I think I have one more that I can pot up. Let's see. So I have this one. However, you could see that the root system is very small, so I'm not going to pot this one up yet. All right, this one, root system, pretty small. Not gonna pot that one up yet. This one, same thing, very small. Not gonna pot it up. Let me take a look and investigate this one. This one looks like it's ready to be potted up. It's not like an amazing root system, but it's pretty good. What do you guys think? Should I wait longer? Hmm. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Sorry guys, only one begonia up right now. I thought these would be a lot further along, but I guess I was wrong. I know these are for sure. So I have propagated some ficus audrey's, which I'm really happy about because I love this plant so much. The leaves are so soft and velvety. So let me share with you guys what the roots look like. These are really nice root systems. And I have two in here. Look at that very nice root system so this is gonna do very well in the pot I'm gonna be using i feel like i should do a three and a half inch pot for these so i have two of these i'm gonna just get both the pots ready here's the second one such beautiful roots 
So as usual, I'm going to hold it into place, put the soil all around so that it can stay in place in the center of the pot. I feel like when you mess up this part and you don't center the plant, like it, I don't know about you guys, but it bugs me so much. And every time I walk by the plant, I'll be like, oh, I wish I could repot it just to center it. Does that bug you guys too, or is it just me? Hopefully it's not just me. Whoever gets this baby is gonna be so lucky. I absolutely love, love ficus audrey, such an easy care plant. And since I have grown them indoors, these ones will be grown indoors, they're gonna be more used to it because I actually bought a ficus audrey from a plant shop and it was an outdoor plant its entire life. So I tried to bring it inside and it was not happy. It was dropping all its leaves. So I did have to put it outside, which kind of sucks because it's so beautiful, I want it inside. So I decided to grow my own. So this is not the first ficus audrey that I've propagated. I did propagate another one and brought it inside and it's been living inside and it's been growing very happily. These will be nice indoor plants as well. So if you're looking to have a ficus audrey indoors, these will, be ha these will have been grown only indoors. So they'll be used to it. And um, I'm not gonna water this one with filtered water because it just doesn't need it. I have just regular tap water in here with mosquito bits as well. Got a nice drink, one down, one to go. Such a beautiful plant. So these are done. And then what else? Oh, I have this one, which I have a million of this plant, so I really don't need any more. It is a Sinbad begonia. Look at these roots. Love it. They look so great. And it's flowering, if you guys could see that in the middle there. This one's flowering as well, but the root system's a lot smaller, so I'm gonna keep one of them in water, and I'll pot up just one. Such an easy plant, honestly, you guys. If you want an easy plant, get this plant. It's so nice and so rewarding, because it's always flowering and always growing. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just trying to be careful and put it exactly where I want it to be. Looks good to me. And this one actually, begonias do like filtered water, but this one has been such an easy care plant for me that I've noticed I don't have to water it with filtered water. So since I don't have to, I'm not going to because it's a pain because whenever I get the filtered water out of my fridge, it's ice cold and I have to wait like three hours before I can water my plants with it. Since I don't need to, I'm not going to get it used to that filtered water. So beautiful. You'll definitely be seeing this one on the shop shortly. All right, so I don't know if I have any more propagations to pot up, but let me go check my stash before I end the video right here because I did this pretty fast and um, I feel like I could do a few more, I'm not that tired, so let me go and see what else I've got. All right, so I just looked around my apartment and I do have some other propagations that if I'm being my normal self and being impatient, I could pot them up, but I'm gonna hold back and not do it yet just to give them some more time to really get those roots strong. So with that all being said, this will be the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got a Begonia Sinbad, we've got a Ficus Audrey, and now we have a Begonia Maculata coming up soon. So thank you guys again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as usual. I do post new videos every single Thursday and Sunday, so you always have those to look forward to every week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.